Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you a complete guide on how to make every command possible in the Meld Command menu. Uh, before we get started though, there's a couple of things I want to talk about first. Um, first off, melding all the commands alone will not max out the command collection uh, reports. Uh, it'll get you close, but you still need will, you'll still need to do a few things like uh, max out your D links, max out your finish commands, and there's a couple of there's a couple of uh, items that you can't get unless you do the ice cream mini game. Um, so yeah, it, this 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 guide will not make you ha uh, complete this, but it'll get you very very close at least. The next thing I want to know is uh, in the shop, uh, you can simply buy commands, right? Uh, I'm not going to be showing you how to make commands that you can simply buy once you get to um, the Keyblade Graveyard. But by the time you get to the Keyblade Graveyard, you'll be able to make uh, stuff like Fire Surge. Uh, you can simply buy, sorry, you can simply buy stuff like Blitz, Fire Surge, and Aerial Slam. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to make those, even though you can make these earlier. Just simply because I'm just doing this guide as if you're just trying to max out your command collection. I'm showing you every command that isn't in the shop, basically. So stuff like Fire, Fire, um, the, like the level 3 spells of everything. Um, c correct me if I'm wrong. Um, these don't. These just simply appear over um, the course of the game. So by the time you get to the um, final shop in the Keyblade Graveyard, you'll have. You can simply just buy Kyuraga or Thundaga. But to be honest, these are super easy. You just just mix uh, this two of the same uh, level two spell, and you get the level three spell. So yeah, no, it's it's simple stuff. Stuff like Mind Shield and Mind Square. I'll talk about even though they are in the shop. Um, these, correct me if I'm wrong though, uh, these don't appear in the shop until you actually make it. Because Seeker Mine, you, Seeker Mine I've made so I can actually buy it now, but that doesn't mean, uh, you can just simply buy this. You have to make it first. So once you buy it, once you make it once, uh, you don't have to worry about it ever again. So, I'm gonna show you those commands that matter. And lastly, the last thing I want to talk about before we move on to actually making the commands is the characters. The characters have um, uh, their own specific commands only to them sometimes. Well, actually, a lot of their commands uh, only they can use, such as um, Aqua's Barrier Surge or uh, Aqua's Thundergus Shot. This is only exclusive to her, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you all the commands you can make um, easily for every character first. And then after I've shown you every command that everyone can use, I'm just going to go to all the exclusive um, commands that for each character. So without any further ado, let's get started. To make Sonic Blade with any character, simply make, uh, have a maxed out Fire Dash and a maxed out Thunder Surge, and that'll create your Sonic Blade. To make a Thunder Surge, simply have a Fire Dash and a Thunder Earth, and that'll make your Thunder Surge. To make a Sludge, simply have a Poison or Blizzard Edge with a Cura to, to make it. To make Collision Magnet, simply make fuse a Quick Blitz with a Magnara to get your Collision Magnet. Now that Collision Magnet you made, combine that with a Binding Strike to make mag Magnet uh, Spiral. To make fish and fire fire gear, just combine a fire gear and a er error or error gear. Both work. To make a crawling fire, combine fire gear with slow stopper or stop gear. 
either, either three of them will work. To make a mind shield, uh, combine a stop with an ignite. To make mind squares, uh, mix a ignite with a error. If I can input properly, to make a mind square. This one should be obvious, but mix uh, zero gravity and zero gravity to make z zero gravity. Should be simple, but you can't. You have to make this for it to be in the shop. Same with uh, Magna Girth. Uh, the, this doesn't um, appear in the shop until you make it, or you find one like in a chest or something. But just mix two Mag Magneras together, and you make Magna Girth. To make Deep Freeze, mix a Freeze Raid and a Blizzard Girth together to make a Deep Freeze. To make Mega Flare, mix um, a Fish and Fire Girth and a Crawling Fire. Uh, this is the only way to make it. And you can't buy it, so you have to uh, fuse those, uh, max those commands out, and then um, meld it together every single time. Every if you want to make multiple mega flares. Okay, to make transcendence, uh, you want to make uh, fuse a magnet spiral with a zero gravity. To make an ice slide, uh, you can fuse a blizzard edge and a air slide at max level. Um, for this to actually work, you have to have multiple air slides. You can't just equip one air slide. So you have to have at least two to, for this to work. Okay, everyone. Now it's time for the exclusive moves for, for each character. Um, there are a couple of moves that... Um, like Terra and Ven can learn, but not Aqua, or Aqua and Ven can learn, but not Terra. And I'll go through that um, near the end, but for now we're just going to focus on uh, Terra's exclusive moves, so let's go. Okay, so for this, for this next move, you might want to save your game beforehand, because this can actually uh, form two abilities. Uh, the most common ability is the Chaos Blade, so if you fuse a Dark Haze and Sonic Blade together, it will create Chaos Blade. But sometimes, as you just saw, uh, it turns into the rare command Oz Solum, so it can either be one or the other. So if you want uh, one of the specific ones, uh, make sure you save the game first. So that's just a... Make, make sure you save the game just in case you don't get the right one and it becomes the rare command. I guess I got lucky during this one. So yes, this one makes Chaos Blade, but also makes Oz Solum as a rare, uh, a rare mix. Our next exclusive ability for Terra is Brutal Blast by mixing uh, a Stun Edge and a Mind Shield together. Next is Wind Cutter by fusing a Confusion Strike and a Aeroga together. To make Limit Storm, you want to fuse a Brutal Blast with a Confusion or Binding Strike. Either works. To make a Meteor Crash, fuse a Fire Strike and a Brutal Blast together. Alright, make sure you save your game before uh, trying this one, because it is a red rare synth, so you're not going to get on your first try unless you're incredibly lucky. Um, synth 2, zero gravity together, and hopefully it becomes the red, rare one. Like that, thankfully. Um, you get warp. I don't know the exact percentage of it, but I think it is pretty fucking low. Uh, you can you can synth 2, zero gravity rows together. I don't know if, if it's... Um, because it's a second tier spell, you have a higher percentage chance, but this is the cheapest way to do it, in, uh, to my knowledge. Um, so hang in there and you'll eventually get it. You might want to save your game for this one too, because this can be two things. Uh, they're both useful. 
So by fusing two Brutal Blasts together, it normally, normally it makes Geo Impact, but sometimes, if you're lucky, it makes Quake. And Quake, uh, if you make Quake this way, it's probably better. Um, Geo, Geo Impact, um, Terra does get a free one in a chest, so uh, you can just buy them. They are quite... Uh, they're not cheap though, they're like 1800 so uh, this is the rare rare way to get Quake, but I'll show you the consistent way to get Quake as well. Our next one is Sacrifice, so that warp I uh, simphed um, a few minutes ago, we're gonna use a warp plus a poison edge and that'll create Sacrifice. Okay, to get Quake uh, normally 100% of the time, you want to you you want to simp one brutal blast with either a zero gravaga or a magnaga. Either two work, but I have a magnaga cuz it's easier I suppose and that makes Quake 100% of the time instead of relying on the um, rare rare one. But I got lucky with the rare one, so I'm actually going to be using that one. I just reloaded the save file to show you the easier way of getting quick. Alright, and finally for Terra, his final one that is exclusive to him. If you mix a Geo Impact and a Quake, you'll get Meteor. Uh, before moving on to Ven though, there's a couple of things I want to uh, show. Uh, Terra and Ven can both learn a uh, Renewal block by having one block and a Cure or a Sooner, and it can make a, a Renewal block, and the other block that they can both have is the Poison block. Um, a rare... very rarely though, um... The poison block can actually turn into a shot lock if you're lucky enough. Moving on to some Ven stuff now. Uh, our first move we're going to be learning is Treasure Raid. So a Strike Raid with a Slot Edge makes Treasure Raid. Next is the Spark Raid. Uh, fuse a Freeze Raid and a Magnera to create the. Spark Raid. Alright, our next one we're gonna make is Wind Raid, so Treasure Raid plus Araga equals Wind Raid. And we're gonna need Wind Raid for a few things, so you might have to make a few of these or just buy it at this point. Uh, next is we're gonna make Oz Arcanum using Blitz and uh, Aerial Slam. There we are, Oz Arcanum. Our next one is going to be Tornado Strike, which will need a Confusion or Binding Strike, plus an Aroga. Our next one is going to be Salvation, so we need a Wind Raid and a Kiraga to make this. The next command is Faith, so we need yet another Wind Raid, and we need Break Time. Um, you can simp for break time, um, but everybody gets a free one in the Disney Town in that um, little ping pong mini game thingy. So that's why I didn't include uh, simping it here, because you only need one IMO. Next up, we have Tornado, which you need an Aragur and a Magna Gur fused together. Uh, you can do this with um, other things, but it's a rare one. So this is the only mix that actually 100% of the time makes Tornado. So I 100% recommend doing it that way. But if you get lucky by mixing two arrows together or something like that, then good for you, man. Good for you. Our next one is Thunder Roll. So you need a Thunder Gur and you need a Dodge Roll. And you can't do this if you only have one. You have to have at least two in your inventory, otherwise it won't work, so... Uh, because the, the game expects you to have at least one of each mu movement at all times, I guess, so... And Ven's final, um... Command, 
exclusive command is fire glide, so you need a fire surge or um, fire gear. Fuse of your glide to make a fire glide. And that is all of Ven's exclusive moves. Uh, we're going to move on to Aqua now. Ven does learn a couple of other moves, but Aqua can learn them as well, so I'm just going to uh, focus on Aqua now. Alright, before I move on from Ven, there's two things I want to uh, make before moving on from Ven, because he shares these with Aqua. So, to make Time Splicer, uh, you'll need a Aerial Slam and a Stop Gun. And that'll make your time splicer. Uh, this works with both characters, Aqua and Ven. And then the last thing we want to talk about is um, homing slide. So you want to get a magnet, just a baby magnet, and a air slide. I don't know if it needs to be maxed out, but uh, make sure it's maxed out, I guess. And this will make homing slide. Both characters can learn this, but I thought I'll just make it for Aqua um, first, just for because it's easier. Because I'm moving on to Aqua now, anyway. Aqua's first exclusive ability we're going to talk about is Magic Hour. So you need to mix a Blitz and a Zero Graviga to make this one. Aqua's next move is called Wishing Edge. You need to have a Barrier Surge plus a Strike Rate to make this one. Next we have Triple Fire Gur. So you want a Fire Gur or and a Fire or a Fire Gur, which both work. Um, it might be easier just to use a Fire because it, it costs less, I guess. Um, basically the exact same move, but Blizzager. Uh, basically the same move, but Blizzager. Triple Blizzager. Okay, our next one is going to be Thundergur Shot. So you want a Thundergur and a Strike Rage for this. To make that. Uh, next is Seeker Mine. So you basically just fuse your Mind Shield and Mind Square together. There we go. I was wondering where it was. <laughs> Our next one is going to be Money Magnet. So you want a Magnera and a Wishing Edge for this one. There are other combinations, but this is probably the easy one, I imagine. And then we want NG Magnet, so let's get our no another Magnera. And a Cure. A Cure makes that too, but use Baby Cure for um, to spend less, I guess. And then you want, then we got D-Link Magnet, so let's get another Magnera. And we want to, to have a Stop Run for this one. The next move is Glacier. We need to have Blizzaga or Triple Blizzaga, either works. And the Deep Freeze to make Glacier. Alright, this next one you might want to save because it's a rare, rare command. So it doesn't always pop up. So you want to fuse together Aero, uh, Fire Rur and Aero Gur to make Fish and Fire Gur, but can also turn into... Bam! Right on cue, Fire Gur, fire gur Burst. This is only for Aqua. Our next one is going to be Raging Storm. Uh, you're going to need Fish and Fire and the Fire Burst that we made just earlier for 100% guarantee to make it. Um, there are other ways of making it, but it's a, a rare command, so you might get lucky by um, mixing Fire with like, another Fire and you might get it that way, but if you want 100% consistency, that's the way to do it. Our next one is going to be a uh, fire car wheel, so we want either fire gear or fire surge, and a um, car wheel to make it. Uh, once again, this can actually turn into fire gear burst if you're lucky, or in my case, uh, unlucky, because I was just trying to show it off. But yeah, 
Alright, next one we're going to make is a Renew Barrier. So you want just a normal barrier plus a full cure. And I'll make your Renew Barrier, very simple. Alright guys, so unfortunately I accidentally made a save and I I thought I was rec recording, but I didn't. Um, I accidentally made Stop Barrier. This is Aqua's final uh, barrier in the game. I forgot, I wasn't recording, but you basically fuse a barrier and a stop gear fully leveled up. I would show this off, but leveling up stop gear is annoying and we're pretty much right at the end of the video anyway. So I feel like you can just take my word for this one. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry. I wish I could sh have a proof. But I guess we have to just move on. Um, anyway, but those are all the commands in the game. However, there are three more, three more um, commands I can get, and they're shot locks. Um, unfortunately, though, they are all rare. Every single one. So you want to make a save beforehand. So let's get the show on the road, shall we? Uh, two of the shot locks. Are f for everyone. The third one's exclusively for Aqua. That's why I haven't done this until now. So let's do the ones that are for everyone first, shall we? So if we fuse um, a Thunderer with a normal Thunder, you make Thunder go, right? But sometimes, wow, I actually got on the first one. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Sometimes it turns into a Lightning Ray, right? Ray shot lock. I don't know the percentage chance of it turning into a rare command, but it happens, okay? So that's number one. Alright, the second potential shot lock we can get by mixing a quick blitz and a poison together. It only makes poison edge, but with a bit of patience and luck, you can finally get the bio barrage shot lock command. That took a few tries, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> But we're not done yet. There's still one more. Um, that's the t so those are the two shot locks I just shown. Those can be those can be used for every character. This next one is only for Aqua. Okay, this one is only for Aqua. And for this final uh, shot lock, if you fuse a Fire and a Thunder together, it normally makes a Thunder shot. But with a bit of luck. That didn't take as long as the bat fire barrage. We can get the meteor shower, and that is all the commands you can simp. I, again, there are some commands I didn't show you because um, you can simply just buy them. But for the most part, that those are all the melding recipes to make all the commands you need. And with that done. We, are f we can finally end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully it helps and you find it useful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.